I'm talking to the Ramones right now. Joey, Johnny, Judy, and Marky, you have your people here with you. You got the best fans in the world, you know? Yeah, I guess so. They love yeah. you. And by the way, your names aren't really Ramon. You just would, didn't it's know. It's a coincidence. You you never, it's a coincidence. Yeah. You just all have when, when we met in the elevator, we all have the same last name. You, know? you never give your real names, but you don't want your mothers to be subjected to, to that. Disgraced. Right, right. Yeah. <laughs> How'd you My mother just left the country, you know. <laughs> How did you get together, you guys? Uh, we started, uh, like, summer of 1974, and we grew up together, lived in the same block, we were friends. It's something we always wanted to do. It's an unnatural phenomenon. <laughs> can, you, can you see? Yes. Well, yeah. Don't do it there. Oh, okay. It's not the right spot, you know? All right. And by uh, the way, you know what? I, I was mean to get a haircut, you know. <laughs> but you, you didn't have time. No, it's too many things to do, you know. What do you do? What do I do? What do you guys do all day? Nothing. <laughs> 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 that was a great you know, number. We feel that you cheated did. that Tommy here. Thanks a lot. We don't appreciate it. Not, not that you know. We want to argue with him. You know, right, right. <laughs> What do you want to argue with him about? Anything. <laughs> okay, well, I'll argue with you about something. I, I loved your number, but I couldn't understand a word you said. Did it, do, do you yeah, people? Yeah. We don't sing words, just sounds. It's all telepathy, you know? Uh huh. Yeah. So they have to get it just by osmosing the whole. They osmosed it in. <laughs> you started back in the mid 70s. I want to know. I was going to type out a lyric sheet for you tonight, but. I have it. We uh -huh. want the airways. Um, the, this business is killing me. The Ku Klux Klan is stealing my baby away. Yeah. And, uh, um, <laughs> teenage lobotomy. Uh, yeah. You got it all. I yeah, got right, it. Right. I got it. And, you, and you're doing really well with it. But you started punk, kind of. Well, well, we consider it, consider it a genuine rock and roll, you know, from the gut, you know. Rock and roll was meant for punks, and uh, that's it started. I guess in, Elvis Presley started in the mid rock 50s. And roll or something, you know? Yeah, but punk is an answer to all the glitter and the stuff that costs a lot no, of money. No, uh, punk is just a rebellious rock for all kids uh, all over. I mean, real rock and roll is punk. Not a bunch of old men playing music for your mothers and fathers. And that's what you have now, it's what they call rock. For instance? Uh, sticks. <laughs> yeah, Sticks, Kansas, Farna, stuff like that. Your parents should listen to this. And is, it, is it mellowing My out? mother doesn't even listen to that. She can play your mother's more hip than that. Yeah, it's, yeah. yeah, it's just, uh, they just want to clean up music and just push Pat Boone and push mediocrity on the, uh, <laughs> on the public. So you're back to your tattered jeans and your sneakers and um, your leather jackets and nothing fancy. And just well, we just want to be real. We want to be ourselves and not uh, put on a bunch of phony clothes. Yeah, but that, wait a minute now. Is this real? Yes. 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 Well, we wore, what, we wore what we always wore. Yeah, no, but isn't this a uniform, too? I mean, we all have we the same jacket We went over it. When we started the group, we were talking about what we were going to wear. Uh -huh. You know, when we started thinking about it, and we just decided to wear what we had. Just what we were wearing before we were in the band. <laughs> we were thinking of getting dressed up and all that, too, you know, and then we decided not to. Cause all, the, all the big rock stars are wearing what we wear now, like Billy Joel, they're wearing their leather jacks and the Queen. And, they're uh, trying to be the Ramones, too. Right, and the Ramones, <laughs> <laughs> the Sex Pistols, The Clash, those groups in England went beyond really what you're doing as far as becoming very politically, yeah, that's, politically that's, uh, violent, safety pins through their they cheeks. They didn't do those things. Those were those bands that wanted to play rock music too. It's just uh, uh, a fashion started from clothes stores and uh, the public just, media just picked up on a few assorted people. You know, how the media's into sensationalism. And, and to show them, uh, the, right. cl the Clash and the Sex Pistols don't wear those things. Hey, Joey, can you look up and, I mean, with your hair like this, see, could you get in a, in a car accident real bad? I mean, you could get hit by a bus. Wow. Right, right, right. Well, you know, I've had a, a few scrapes there, you know, but I met, I've, I think God's on my side tonight. And so, yeah. That's dangerous. And then you got yes. the glasses besides. Yes. And, right, right. But you, you guys have to have fun with it. You have a sense of humor about the whole thing, right? Well, rock's meant to be fun. Right. <laughs> the man says without a smile on his face. Are you laughing? <laughs> No. With us or at us or know, you know? <laughs> well, I'm not. I'm kind of worried about you, Joey. Uh, well, I'm pretty happy with myself. Now, you know? Are you? I've been waiting two years to be on this show, you know. <laughs> How do you feel about about um, the the bands that you really inspired back in the mid '70s, like Blondie and these people that have, in a sense, commercially eclipsed you? Does that make you mad at all? No. I mean, they they took. 
that way, to do that, and play you know, disco music and things like that to make it. Uh, we do what we believe in, we have our integrity, and we're happy doing what we do. We're the only band that's stuck to, to its original ideals, you know? Everybody else took the easy route, you know? Everybody else either went to sound of Bruce Springsteen, like Elvis Costello and people like that, or, uh, or they went disco, or they went reggae, or something like that. We're the only band that stuck to our, 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 genu our original idea, you know? And and which not, was hard-driving rock and roll, That's what, that's what uh, rock and roll is all about, you know? Yeah. And we're not mad. We're just we're doing what we want to do, and we're happy doing this. And you're making some money? Right. Obviously. I mean, yeah. there's, there's room for everybody. There's no reason to shut out one kind of music, you know? There's room for everybody, you know? What about radio? You guys have said, well, you guys have said that you're not thrilled about Do you get a lot of airplay? No. Why not? Because radio is like television, and all they want to do is <coughs> push crap on the, the public. <laughs> That's not this it. show. This show is one of the better shows on television. I'm talking about... <laughs> I mean, I'd say something bad about this show, too, it, it, it's, but I just feel that way. I mean, I'm just talking well, about this situation show, comedies this show puts and things like on, that. If that's what you right. Mean, yeah. I'm talking about situation comedies. But what about like radio? radio. Yeah, that must make you mad like because you really, yeah. yeah, you really thrive. I mean, you survive on, on airplay, don't you? You need that to sell your records. So. Yeah. Well, it well, helps. Radio, radio, radio just turned into a big business. It's, uh, you know, just pushing mediocrity and uh, just like, um, it's, it's uh, just the, all they care about is money now. Like, take the 60s. It was definitely the most innovative time in, in the history of rock and roll and radio, where they play everything and they look for new things to play. And the DJs were the hip people, and they turned us onto the Beatles and various people like that. I mean, nowadays, uh, you know, the DJs could care less. It's just a salary, you know, and it's just radio's totally sterile. You know, it's uh, they play their hit and You don't also really they need it though. Really? We we haven't had it, and we we're getting along just fine without it. Yeah. And, uh, and kids, kids don't, just because there is no radio doesn't mean that kids have to be stuck uh, with mediocrity and not thinking. They just have to discover things on their own, whether it's us or anyone else. You know. Do you write all your own stuff? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, we've done a few covers by some of the, some other people too. Mm -hmm. But mostly we write our own songs. Phil Spector did one of your albums. Yeah, That's he produced to... one. Yeah. What have you got in the future? Well, What's our new album out? just came out, Pleasant Dreams. It mm -hmm. came out a, a month ago. And uh, we're just touring America right now. We'll be going to the Midwest this coming month. And How do you do you... in the Midwest? Oh, very good. It's a good place. Do those people understand what you're about? Oh, yeah. They have kids, uh, kids the same everywhere. I mean, basically, if you want to come and have a good time and be entertained. And, uh, so, you know, everywhere's the same. It's the kids in the... In the in the suburbs like the Midwest that are really kind of cheated because, uh, you know, a lot of people don't go to that, you know, like we hit all the nooks and crannies, you know, whereas the big, a lot of the big men just play all the mm -hmm. 20,000 civic auditorium <laughs> in the uh, country and we don't, you know, we play for the people, you know, whereas they play for uh, the money and uh, the KK less if the kids can dance or see, you know, or if the bouncer breaks their head, they don't, they can, they can yeah. kill us, you know. Well, actually, yeah, you, you know, you know, I've seen these big bands come through, and these these big we groups like say, them, you know? yeah, they come by and they have they have nine thousand people following them. I mean, you don't need all that money anyway. You don't put it into clothes. I mean, yeah. <laughs> but, yeah. but we we don't go out to the Midwest and really shock anybody. We're just the same as they are. We're we're not. We may be a group based out of New York, but we're all kids from Queens. We're suburban people. And we have the same problems that everybody else has in Detroit or in Ohio or anywhere else. And we got that's why kids are relating though, yeah. to us. <laughs> but you do. The Ramones, thanks very much for coming uh, down. You sure you're okay, Joey? Yes, yes, I'm, I'm oh, survive. Okay. <laughs> All right, okay. Thanks very much. They started out in a paint store and they've... There we go. Oh, yeah. Last month, a Minneapolis...